Okay guys, so welcome to core and stretch. This is a 40 minute class. We're gonna do 20, 25 minutes of core and 15 minutes or so of stretching at the end. Um, all you need is a mat today and some floor space. Um, can you see and hear me okay? Hopefully you can see and hear me. Let me bring my mat forward just a little bit. Perfect. Okay guys, so let's start to warm up. And again, if there's anything you're not comfortable with or you get achy shoulders, I want you to come down in child pose, which is like this, okay? So, first of all, we're gonna start on our hands and knees. I'm gonna turn this way. I ripped a hole in my trousers this morning. <laughs> okay, so stand on your hands and knees on your mat. We're just gonna warm up the joints to start off with. So I just want to make a few nice circles. Keep your hands under your shoulders, your arms extended. Let's go two more times around this way. And let's go backwards the other side. Perfect. Well done, okay, let's come back onto your feet. And then let's come forward again. I want to come forward over the hands, squeeze the bum in, and then back again, forward, back. And then forward onto your hands, come forward over the top of your hands, squeeze the bum in, Almost like a cobra roll, we're gonna do two more times. Perfect, and back, keep breathing, and then forward one more time. Lovely, and back, perfect. Right, we're gonna go and jump onto our bums now. Turning over. So first of all, we're laying on your back, I want to bring your knees up in a tabletop position, 90 degrees or so. It's gonna change the view so I can see everybody. So everybody should be muted by now. Yeah. Okay. One second, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so jumping on our back, tabletop position, 90 degrees. From here, we're just gonna slowly twist our hips, left and right. Keep your back and your shoulders on the floor. Perfect. Try to keep 90 degrees in the knee. Now, if you get any back pain, I'm going to just stop and put your legs on the floor. So we're working the obliques now into the muscles on the side of your body. Your core is made up of your obliques on the side. Your pelvic floor when you clench. Your diaphragm to help you breathe. Your abdominals and your erector spine on your back. Okay, so we're going to start to get a little bit bigger now. And if you can, I'm going to try and get all the way down to the floor now. So, all the way to the left of the floor, all the way to the right. Keep your shoulders on the floor, left and right. Perfect. Keep going three more times each side. Three. And two. And last one. Perfect. And then put your feet on the floor. Okay, so from there, I want to raise your back up just a little bit. Keep your feet hip width distance apart. And then we're going to wiggle from side to side, tapping the heels. Okay, so we're gonna go 20, ready? One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, back on the floor. Okay, bring your feet back up into tabletop. We're gonna go left and right with the feet. Perfect, we're gonna get hit all the floor, all the way now. Left and right, left and right. Good. Keep going, let's go 10 more. Nine, and eight, seven, and six. Five more, four, three. Really good for the lower spine, this two. And last one, and perfect, feet back on the floor. Okay, sitting up. Again, just lift your shoulders above the floor, keep your lower back on the floor, and then let's go left to right again, touching your heel. Let's go 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 4, 3, 2, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Upside down. Perfect, guys. You're done. Okay, from here we're going to flip onto our left hand side. I'm going to do some side planks now. 
you have bad shoulders, be careful here. Make sure your elbow is under your shoulder. You don't want to be sunk down like this with your, your ear onto your shoulder. You want to come up nice and tall. Your feet can be on top of each other or staggered, it's up to you. And then from there, using this hand as support if you wish, you're going to lift your hips up and then down. And you're using the side muscles again in the side of your body. We're going to go 10 on each side. If you don't need the hand as help, put it on your hip. Ready? Steady. Lifting up and down. One. All the way to the floor. Two. And don't forget to keep breathing. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one. Ten. Perfect. Well done, guys. Let's flip sides. Right hand side now. Perfect. So your elbows under the shoulder, come out of your shoulder, feet on top of each other, or slightly staggered. Good job. When you guys are ready, hand on the hip if you wish, all the way up and all the way down. Ten. And nine. Eight. Seven. And six. Good. Five more. Four. We're going to do this one again. Three. Two. And last one, perfect. Well done guys, good job. Let's flip sides again one more time. All right. Okay, up on the mat. Feet slightly staggered on top. This time we're gonna do 10 and we're gonna hold the last one up for 10 seconds. Okay, again, if you need help, hand on the floor, otherwise hand on the hip. If you need to sit this out, if you can't manage it, please just rest it out. Okay, when you guys are ready, all the way up and all the way down. One, two, don't forget to breathe, three. And four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, last one, we're gonna hold it up, all the way up and hold for 10. Nine, breathe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, well done guys. Right, flip over one more time. Okay, ready? Elbow on your shoulder, hand of support if you wish. You can help push yourself up. You don't need to help, put it on your hip. Ready, steady, all the way up and down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five more, and four, three, two, and last one, hold it there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, guys, well done. Back onto your back. Okay, give yourself a breather. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a low, lower back stretch. Perfect. And we're gonna finish off the sides now by doing some little bicycles. So, on your, on your back. Bum on the floor, hands on the side of your head. Now don't put them right around the back. Keep your fingertips on the side so you don't pull your neck. Okay, from here we're gonna lift our legs up again and we're gonna bring our right elbow to our left knee and then our left elbow to our right knee. And we're gonna keep going like so. Okay, ready to go 20. Lift up and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, perfect, give your knees a hug, good job guys, well done. Okay, so how are we going to go for some leg raises towards the lower part of your core? I want to lay flat on your back, keep your head on the floor on this, I'll just keep my head up so I can see you guys. Your legs are going to be completely straight. If you need to, you can put your hand under your bum to support your back, but ideally, you don't want a gap between your back. So, if you rotate the hips up, imagine someone standing on the belly, that should eliminate the gap. So, if you need to, you can put your hands under the bum. And then from there, I want to lift your legs all the way up, and then all the way back down again. Okay, keep your head on the floor, ready? Let's go 10. One, <clears throat> excuse me. And two. Three and four, five, six, try to keep those legs nice and straight, seven, 
eight, nine, and last one, number ten. Perfect, give yourselves a hug. Good job, guys. Well done. We're going to do that a second time, but this time instead of going straight up, we're going to make a V with our, our feet. So we're going to go up to the left and then up to the right. Let me show you. So hands under the bum if you wish. Eliminate that gap in your back. And then from there, you're going to lift up left, come down into the middle, and then up to the right. Okay, so ready? Let's go 16. Eight on each side. Three, two, one, up to the left. One, down to the middle. Up to the right, two, down to the middle. Up left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway. Nine, again, if you need to rest, rest. And 10, good, let's go six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Perfect, well done guys, give your knees a hug. Good job, well done. All right, so we're 10 minutes in, we're gonna now flip over onto our hands and knees. Perfect. Okay, so again, you want your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Keep your knees slightly hip width apart. Good job. And then for now, it's a step back into a plank. Hold it there. Keep the core nice and tight, your back's nice and flat, keep breathing. And then step down into hands and knees again. Good, step back. And step back down, rest. Good, number three. And down, good. Number four, step back, high plank. And down, good job. And again, number five. Well done. Number six. Very good. Number seven, step back, high plank. Good job. Number eight. Well done. Okay, number nine. Well done. And last one, number 10. Hold it there. 10 seconds. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Knees onto the floor. Come back into child pose just to rest your lower back and shoulders. Take a little nice deep breath. Well done. So in this child, this this pose will stretch out your lower back. It's also one of the most relaxing positions for your body if it feels stressed. Okay, so coming up, we're gonna go for mountain climbers now. So we're gonna start on our hands and knees. We're gonna step back into a high plank. And from there, we're gonna bring our left knee to our right uh, elbow. Right knee to our left elbow, okay? So we're gonna do 20 in total. Nice and slow, we're not gonna do it too fast. The slower you do this, the more difficult it becomes. So when you guys are ready, step back into a plank. And left to right, one, two, three, and four, five, Keep breathing, six, and seven, eight. Keep that back nice and high, nine, 10. 10 more to go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Perfect, knees on the floor and rest. Good job guys, well done. Hold it there, deep breaths. We're going to do the second time. Ready? This time we're going to go up to 30 if you can. So up onto the hands and knees. Come back into a high plank. And ready? Left knee to right elbow. One, two, three, four. Opposite sides. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's go 10 more if you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one. Perfect. Down on the hands and knees. Rest in the child pose. Good job. Perfect. Well done, guys. Nice. Okay, so we're going to come forward onto our elbows now. And we're going to lay flat on the floor. 
we're going to flick our toes under. Okay, and then we're going to work the lower back. So from floor, we're going to go into plank and then back down again, and then up, and then down. Okay, we're going to go 10 times, ready? Steady, and high pl uh, plank, and floor, rest. Plank, floor, number three, number four, don't forget to breathe, number five, six, seven, and eight, number nine, and last one, number ten, perfect, rest on the floor. From there we're going to go into Superman's, so bring your hands on the side of your body. Lay face down on the floor with your legs extended. From here, we're going to squeeze the bum, lift our legs up and lift our chest up, and then relax, okay? You're going to feel it across your lower back here. Okay, so if you get lower back pain, you might want to sit this one out, come into child pose to relax. The rest of us, when you're ready, lifting up and down. One, nice and slow, and two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, number 10, perfect. Bring your forearms back in, and then we're gonna lift up into a plank from the floor. So tuck the toes back in again. Okay, ready, steady, lift up into a plank, and down, 10, nine, eight, seven, and six, good, five more, four, three, two, and last one, perfect, good job guys, rest on the floor, bring those hands down in front, lay on your face again, or face down, and again you're going to squeeze the bum, lift your legs up, lift your chest up, we're going to do 10 times, and last one we're going to hold up for 10 seconds. Ready? Steady. And let's go. One. And release. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, and last one, 10, hold it for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, hands on the side of the mat, and then push yourself back into child pose. Off you go. Good, that's it there, good job. Deep breaths. I'm just gonna stretch out your lower back now. Okay, good job guys. So we're gonna flip back onto our backs again and we're gonna do some reverse crunches. So, you wanna lay flat on your back. And again, you can use this to your hands under your bum if you wish to protect your back. Otherwise, if you make sure there's no gap here, push your stomach in, rotate your hips up and hold it there. Bring your knees up 90 degrees. And this time, instead of going left to right, we're gonna extend our legs. Imagine pushing the door open and then bringing them back in, okay? Let's go 10. Push, nice and slow, and release. One, push, and release. Two, push, and pull back. Three, don't forget to breathe. Four, very good. Five, and six. Seven, eight. Two more, nine, good. And last one, number 10, perfect. Okay, we're gonna add a scissors into this exercise next. So you're gonna bring the legs back in, we're gonna extend, once they're extended, we're gonna open and close, and then bring them back in. Just gonna shuffle back so don't hit the wall. So again, extend, open, close, and pull them back in. Ready, let's go 10, push, open, close, and back in. One, push, open, close, Back in, that's number two. Let's go for number three. Push, open, close, back in. Push, open, close, back in. That's four. 
And number five, trying not to touch the floor, push, open, close, back in, six, seven, three more, eight, very good, number nine, put down, and last one, push, open, close, pull them back in, give yourself a nice hug, well done guys, good job, deep breaths, Doing well. Perfect. So we're going to do some V sit ups now. So you want to be sitting on your bum. All right. So from here, we're going to bring our knees up. Now you can do this. You have to raise your feet slightly. You can hold your legs if you need some help. But we're going to sit back, extend the legs, and then pull yourself back in again. If you don't need your help, you can do it without touching your legs. Okay. So we're going to do ten to start off with. Again, try not to walk back onto the floor. Okay, so sitting up, keep the back nice and straight, and extend the legs, and pull them back in. One, extend, pull them back in. Two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, guys, good job. Right, we're gonna do that a second time, ready? Steady, sit back, feet up, and extend the legs, punch them back in. 10, you might feel this on the top of the legs as well. Nine, eight, we're gonna stretch all out shortly. Seven, six, five more, four, three, two, and last one, perfect. Well done guys, good job, right. Last few minutes, so we're going to go back into some planking next. You guys are following me, we're going to play a little game of Jamie Says. We're going to start on a high plank, we're going to come down to the low plank. When I say left arm out, try and bring your left arm out. If I say right arm out, try and bring your right arm out. Left leg up and right leg up. Keep breathing, keep your back nice and flat, okay? Now again, if you feel any back pain, please sit this one out. Come into child pose, that will rest your lower back. Also, if you get any shoulder pain as well, uh, same thing, chart pose for me. Okay, so when you guys are ready, come up into high plank. Extend the legs back. Perfect, hold it there, keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. Let's bring the left leg up. Hold it there, good. Left leg down, right arm out. Good, bring it down, left arm out. Nice, bring it down, right leg up. Good, bring it down. Let's come down onto your forearms. Keep the hips off the floor. Keep breathing. Well done. Right leg up. Good, hold it there. Nice, left arm forward. Good, right arm forward. Perfect, left leg up. Well done. Up into a high plank. Down into a low plank. Up into a high plank. Down into a low plank. Left leg up, left leg down, right leg up, good, right leg down, up into a high plank, perfect, and let's rest on our knees and come back into child pose, good job guys, well done, deep breaths, nice, holding it there, okay, so we're going to do that one more time, as soon as we finish we're going to turn around and we're going to finish off with some Russian twists, okay? You can do this with some weight if you've got a bottle of wine, or you can do it with no weight, it's up to you. After that, we're going to go into a nice, lovely 15 minute stretch to finish off the session. Okay, so when you guys are ready, we're going to start in the low plank this time. And low plank. Good, make sure your elbows are under your shoulders, deep breaths. Take it up into a high plank. Perfect, keep the back nice and straight. Breathe, low plank. High plank. Very good, low plank, left leg up, left leg down, right leg up, good, right leg down, right arm out, right arm down, left arm out, left arm down, left arm up again, left arm down, right leg up, right leg down, left leg up, left leg down, right arm up, right arm down, let's go into high plank, Low plank. Let's go three more times. High plank. And low plank. 
Good, last two, high plank and low plank. Perfect, good job guys, rest onto your bum, well done. Right, I'm gonna sit forward on this one so you can see me. You can do this one with your feet on the floor. You're gonna sit like so, like we did earlier. This time, feet stay on the floor. We're gonna imagine you've got a ball in our hands. We're gonna to twist to the left, twist to the right, touch on the floor each time. Again, we're gonna finish off those obliques. I'm gonna do it face on for you. Again, if you wish, you can do this with your feet up off the floor. It's entirely up to you. So when you guys are ready, feet up, holding your ball, and left, right, left, right. If you get any back pain, please stop, left, right, left, right. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Perfect guys, well done. Good job. Okay, so we've got 15 minutes left of the, uh, not the show, <laughs> the class. Um, we're gonna go into some stretching now. I'm gonna chill the music out. We're gonna stretch the glutes, the ITV bands, your QLs, your obliques, and everything else, chest, shoulders, and back. Okay, so well done guys. I want you to flip over onto your hands and knees again. Let me turn the music out. Or not. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. So perfect. So from here, I'm going to go onto your hands and knees. Take long, nice deep breaths throughout this. I'm going to flick my toes under and step back into a high plank one last time. Good job. I'm going to bring my right leg in, place it on the mat. And again, you can keep it nice and square. Keep your hips facing forward and then slide back for me. We're gonna go into pigeon pose. Come forward on the mat. Perfect, hold it there. You're gonna feel a nice juicy stretch in this right leg. This is gonna help with your lower back. I've had lots of people actually say they've got lower back pain by being at home for a long period of time. This can be caused by the hips being turned forward or back or tight glutes pulling on your hips or your lower back. Good, from here, lower yourself down onto your forearms, holding it there. Good, long rest and breaths. Good, and then if you wish, bring your hands out in front of you for a nice deep stretch. Deep breath, I'm gonna hold this for about one minute. Down, sink down into the floor. Almost like your muscles are melting. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. Keep holding it a little bit longer. So from there, we're going to bring the hands in, raise your upper body up. We're going to flick this back toe under, lift the knee up so you're raising your hips up, and then use it for leverage to rock just backwards and forwards, getting a nice tighter stretch in those glutes. Good. A bit of a variation of the, pa uh, the panda pose, the pigeon pose. And again, the bit that hurts the most, so you can feel it the most, is the bit you need to stretch. Your glutes are made up of several muscles. So any one of them could be tight. Perfect, okay, from here I'm gonna use my foot for leverage and go left and right with the hips. And again, I'm not touching the floor. My outside of my glutes are a little bit tighter, so this one really helps here. Nice. There should be not much pressure on your hands, it should be all on this leg and on your back foot. Perfect, okay, stop there. Drop your back knee down. You're gonna bring your left, or your right le left leg up. Good job. And then we're going to reach round to the opposite side and pull in. Now, if you can't get your foot, don't worry. You're going to feel this now, stretching your uh, quads, your ITB bands, and your hip flexors on that left leg. Good. Holding it there. Nice. Very good, guys. And release. Well done. Okay, let's lift the hips up one more time. Step back into that high plank. And then we're gonna bring the other leg in, place it on the floor, keep your hips facing forward. You don't wanna rock onto your side like this. Keep them nice and square. Perfect, slide back as much as you can, deep breath in. And as you breathe out, sink down into the floor. Nice, come forward onto your forearms. Good, keep breathing, deep 
breaths. And then if you wish, you put hands out in front. Nice big stretch. Good, again, keeping those hips square. Deep breath in. As you breathe in, out, not down to the floor. seconds or so. I always want to try and do meditation breaths for your breathing. Keep going a little bit longer. Good. From there, bring your hands closer into your body. Raise your upper body up. We're going to flick this back toe under. Lift the knee up so your hips are up nice and high. And then just walk backwards and forwards. Feeling the tightest stretch in your glutes. Nice. Keep walking backwards and forwards. Feel like that nice tight stretch in the glutes. Maybe in the back of your hamstrings as well. Very good. We're going to stop walking backwards and forwards and then go from left to right. Again, if you've got tight ITV bands, as I move to my left, I can feel them pull. Very good. Nice. One more time. Perfect. We're going to drop this back knee down. We're going to flick the leg up. And then if you can, twist around to the opposite side and give it a nice stretch. Perfect. Well done. Again, just fit on the back of your right, uh, the front of your right leg. Very good. And release it there. Good job. We're going to stretch the core now. So I'm going to bring your leg down, bring your hips up, step back into the high plank, lower yourself to the floor. Good. As you're on the floor, hands by the side of your shoulders, keep your pelvis flat on the floor and gently arch your back up. Good. Lower yourself down, we're going to do it five times. And then push up again. Now when you do this, you don't want your shoulders up like this. Keep them nice and low. Perfect, lower yourself down. Number three. Very good. Two more times. And four. Bring a nice stretch from the lower back and you'll fill in your core as well. Good. And last time, pushing up. Nice, holding it there, lift it over your right shoulder and then your left shoulder. Nice, centre and then come back and push back onto your knees, hold it into child pose for me. Perfect, holding it there, a few seconds, deep breaths. Nice job guys, well done. Okay, we're going to come forward, I'm going to sit facing you. We're going to sit cross-legged now. We're going to stretch the QLs, which are on your back, lower back, and also your obliques. So we're going to sit normal cross-legged, sitting up nice and tall. Bring the left hand side. Now, if you can, you want to keep both bum cheeks on the floor. And from there, you want to bring your right hand over the top of the side of you. Add a nice big stretch. Imagine someone putting my fingers all the way to the side. You feel it all the way down here. Keep your chest open. Perfect. Nice deep breaths. As you breathe out, you can feel the stretch a little more. Good. Very good. We're going to change sides. Bring the right arm down and bring the left arm over your head. Keep the left bum cheek on the floor. Now again, if you need to, you can put your hand on the floor here instead. If you can't, if you're tight. Good. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, imagine someone pulling your fingers. Nice. Okay, let's change sides again. Left side down. Right hand over the top of your head. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, imagine someone pulling your fingers. Nice. You might feel this in the lats as well. Good, let's go again one more time. Right side down, keep the bum on the floor. Left side over the top of the head. Deep breath in. And as I breathe out, someone pulling my fingers. Good job, well done. Nice. And then center for me. Nice job, well done. Okay, from here, I'm gonna stretch all the way up. I'm gonna gl grasp my hands and imagine someone putting up nice and high. Very good, and then release. Good, and then up again. Really stretch up high, and then down again. Good, one more time, up high. 
perfect and down again. Good job guys, well done. Okay, ITB bands, these are the muscles that come down the side of your leg, they bring your legs out to the side. Uh, these can be responsible for lower back aches. So, again, both bum cheeks on the floor. This time I'm gonna cross my legs, but I'm gonna bring one tight in under each other. Instead of this one going over the top, we're gonna to bring it right the way over the top. And then we're gonna try and push the knees together. It's called stacking the knees. Now in yoga, this is called the cow face pose, I believe. I call it the pretzel stretch. Now, if you've got tight ITV bands, your leg is likely to be up here or your bum is gonna be lifted. Don't worry too much, just try and relax into it. Perfect, but if you get your knees together, eventually you want to be able to do that. Good, you're gonna feel this in your hips here and you might feel it all the way down the outside of your legs. Okay, I wanna sit up nice and tall and then start to lean forward. Perfect, keep the back nice and straight if you can. Bring the hands out in front and lean forward. Good, now if it really hurts, some people these are really tight and it really hurts, you can just move backwards and forward to release and stretch it if you wish. Otherwise you can hold it there. Good, if you wish you can also give your knees a hug. Get deep breaths in, as you breathe out, sink down, let your muscles relax into the floor. Okay, we're gonna hold this for about 45 seconds. If you need to release it any time, please release it. Good, keep breathing. I'm starting to feel it in my upper leg here, my hips all the way down the front, uh, sorry, the side of my legs. Good, as it gets more flexible, you can stack your knees and push them tighter together. Nice job. So just let you know guys, I'm posting these videos just this week on uh, Facebook, so you get a copy of them. And then for next week, um, anybody that pays a subscription, I will upload them into a private group so you can view them at any time uh, on YouTube. We've got a lot of people in the States that want to do the classes with the time difference, it's not good for them. All right, we're going to come up now. Perfect, I want you to put your hands just behind you and then we're going to change legs. So you're going to bring the right leg over and then swap over, bring the right leg under and the left leg over the top. So we're going the other way now, stacking the knees the opposite direction. Perfect, and again, if your knee's up here, maybe one side's tighter than the other, that's pretty normal these days. Um, just do the best you can. The main thing is trying to keep both bum sheets on the floor though. Okay, sitting up nice and tall, very good. And then start to come forward. Again, and again, if it gets really tight, you can come up and release, and come forward again. Perfect, you can rock a few times, and then once you're ready, come down, give your knees a hug if you can. Very good, deep breath in. And as you breathe out, push down, melt into the floor, let your muscles relax. And then when you're ready, coming up, just be careful of your hips and release the legs. Well done. I'm going to go back to normal seated uh, cross-legged. And we're going to just open up the chest now and then the shoulders and then we're done. So from here, open up your arms, scarecrow position. Keep your elbows shoulder height if you can. And then from there, squeeze the shoulder blades, opening up the chest. You should feel it here across the top of your shoulders. And then relax. Good. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Imagine there's a ping pong ball between your shoulder blades. And then relax. Good. Number three. Now, if you have a door frame, you should have a door frame in your house. You can do this in the door frame every morning. Push your hands against the frame and open up the chest. That'll stop you hunching over when you're a bit older. Okay, one more time. Squeeze, uh, which is caused by tight chest muscles generally. Good job. Okay, shoulders next. We've been on our planks for a long time. So bring one arm in into the body. And we're just about done after this one. Perfect. Nice, feeling here on the back of the shoulders. Very good. And to the other side as well. So don't forget we've got meditation with Mark. If you haven't tried it, please come and try it. Uh, there's a lot of people, it's a 40th day in lockdown, I think today, in Barcelona. Uh, there's a lot of people feeling not very happy and a bit miserable. So uh, yeah, come.